Hello everyone, Amateur Meteorologist First and Weather here. It is August 5th, 2019, and this is my Winter Thoughts number 2 video uh, for the winter of 2019-2020, and this video is going to be in regards to the PDO, or Pacific Decadal Oscillation. So these are the Pacific Teleconnection indices for the past few years, and up top we have the indices from November of 2016, and it goes all the way down to July of this year. As you can see, in 2016, we did have those uh, pretty positive values that were lingering from that stretch of very positive uh, PDO values that we saw in the winters of 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016. And so after the winter of 2016-2017, we really did see that PDO weaken. And the PDO was even actually negative for the December of the winter. 2017-2018 winter for the months of December and February and also March and uh, since then since the winter of 2016-2017 the PDO has remained close to neutral either slightly positive and at times actually uh, pretty appreci appreciably negative for example in November of 2018 we were at negative 0 0.78 December negative 0 0.09 and so even in February we were at negative 0 0.50 so for a while now we've been quite negative in April of 2018, we were at negative 0 0.88, so pretty respectable negative PDO values. And so recently, one thing that's caught my attention is the fact that in July of 2019, we were at 0 0.36. I get my pen out. We can see that this value, we, we have not been this high in terms of a positive value all since all the way to April of 2017 when we were at 0.5. Until then, we have been below this value. The highest value, the second highest value was in January of 2018 when we were at 0.3. So it remains to be seen whether we, um, if, if this is just a, a quick little positive burst or if it, this is going to be the start of a new positive phase. And one thing that um, has been really unusual the past decade or so is that the PDO has been shifting uh, phases very quickly. Usually we have the PDO phase last for a couple of decades where we have distinct negative period, slight variation, then a distinct positive period. But the way it's been in the past few years is that we've been changing phases very quickly in the matter, in the matter of only a couple of years. So it's, it should be interesting to see what pans out as we have been in that negative PDO now generally for the past year, year and a half or so. So definitely, I'm leaning on the PDO now turning more positive as we go closer and closer to winter. Now this is the NMMA forecast, sea surface temperature anomaly forecast for December, January, and February of 2019. And this forecast was why, as you can see, you have that distinct horseshoe shape of warmer than average surface temperatures with that particular blob under the um, coast of Alaska, and then these warmer than average sea surface temperatures extending down southwest equator. And so this is not really a very classic uh, positive PDO with that cooler rim uh, that goes like this. This is more of, I would say, a sloppy PDO where we just see a lot of warmth in the Pacific, not really that cool, that nice little cool section, but mostly just average temperatures. However, this this is a clear uh, p positive PDO indicator uh, from this model. If this was to verify, we would be seeing PDO values quite respectable. And if we go to the other model, which is the CFS, it's really painting basically a carbon copy. We have that warm blob in Alaska and that southwest extent of warmer than average sea surface temperatures going to near the equator. And then this little cooler area right here of average sea surface temperature. So this is classic PDO shape, but not as much as uh, classic PDO sea surface temperatures, because usually you do have a, an area here that has considerably below average sea surface temperatures. We're not seeing that, it looks like, for this winter, but um, nonetheless, we this is a clear indicator of a respectable positive PDO. Now this is the Jamstack model, and it has something quite similar. It has a warm blob south of Alaska, but closer to the uh, western coast of the United States. And then it also has this southwestern sort of extension of warmer than average sea surface temperatures. 
little cool area right here. So this is interesting that the model is uh, painting a PDF that's more southward and more tilted. So this is something I'll be keeping an eye on. So what is the what are the effects of a positive PDO? Fortunately, I didn't have the time tonight to really go through the analyze by myself and see what happened when um, and see what happens during neutral and positive PDO conditions. I just found some research online that I'm using, and so the, the image to the left right here is um, daily high temperature maximums during during winters with e, with excuse me a positive PDO. As you can see, there's a distinct area of below average high temperature basically in the southwestern portion of the country with with the uh, above average temperatures being focused in the west and also portions western west and if we look at this is the daily uh, low temperature minimums and as you can see we have the low average low temperature eastern part of the country and again much of the same thing with above average temperature west now below is um an analog essentially of neutral con ENSO conditions with a positive PDO and this winter it looks more and more likely that we will see neutral ENSO conditions around 0 0.3, 0 0.5 or 0 0.4 and these are the analogs as you can see we have uh, a tendency to see below average conditions east of the Mississippi and slightly above average temperatures in the Four Corners region also probably California Arizona. So that pretty much sums up this video guys i hope you enjoyed and so this is just another sign uh that I'll, that i'll be looking more closely at as we get closer and closer to the start of winter and from this video it looks like uh that you might be thinking oh look neutral conditions positive pdo automatically that we're going to be seeing colder than average winter in the eastern part of the country but again there are so many other factors this is just one piece in the in a big puzzle that I'll be looking at for the winter of 2019-2020. So while this is a cool signal, it does not necessarily mean that we will see much below or a colder winter in the east. For example, in the winter of I believe 2016-2017, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments below. When we had that really strong El Nino, a record strong El Nino, that actually essentially completely counteracted the positive PD. I think it was actually 2015-2016 had that positive PDO but that super strong El Nino essentially just washed away all effects so the PDO can be uh, outmatched or out uh, strengthened by other factors so this is just again one piece in a large puzzle that will impact our winter. So again I hope you enjoyed this video guys and see you next time.